Hey there, Grace United Methodist Church family. This is your favorite youth minister coming in just to let you know about some of the fun things that are happening here in the youth ministry at Grace United Methodist Church. First off, on Sunday, July 18th, we are starting Sunday school again. So if you are interested in joining us for our worship service at 930, stay just after that. And at 1045, we will start our Sunday school. And this summer, I'm super excited because we are studying through the book of Jonah. Yes, we are looking at the story of Jonah and the whale. Was it really a whale? We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about what Jonah did in Nineveh, and I'm super excited about that. So join me July 18th as we start Sunday school here at Grace. And also, as we round off and finish our summer Jonah study, we will take a special Sunday school field trip on August 15th, and we are going to go fishing. So bring your, your, your fishing lines, bring your hooks, bring your tackle boxes, bring your best stories, bring a burger, bring whatever you want. But we are going to go fishing on August 15th, and I'm super duper excited about that. So make sure you are here. We're going to start Sunday school this Sunday, July 18th. And as we finish our study, August 15th, we will go on a, uh, a student uh, ministry-wide fishing trip. Uh, so please do not forget that. Also, September 15th, we will be starting life groups. Life groups? What are life groups? Well, I'm sure you're used to me saying youth group. But youth group is not just about the youth, but we have children's group as well. And to say student group, it is not as fun. But we're, I'm going to start calling them life groups because while we are, uh, are collected together and we're looking at the word of God, we are feeding on what we call the bread of life. And this, the word of God, is the bread of life and it gives us life. And so I'm going to start calling them life groups now as a collective. Uh, and that means children's group and youth group. So j September 15th, we will be starting our life groups. And they will be starting Wednesdays at 6 and we will go to 7. There won't be dinner and there won't be a homework time. So please plan accordingly. Wednesdays starting September 15th from 6 to 7. And be excited because this fall, the summer we're doing Jonah, this fall we are doing Exodus. And I know that doesn't sound fun, but we're going to have a lot of fun with our Exodus study. So make sure you are here. So I gave you three dates. The first is July 18th. That is when we start Sunday school and we are starting our Jonah summer study. Then we are starting uh, 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 life groups September 15th. Uh, and that's Wednesdays at 6. But don't forget, in between those, on August 15th, we're going fishing for Sunday school. It's an experiential fellowship moment. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, we are coming back to youth ministry and student ministry and children's ministry. Uh, so I'm super excited for that. But please remember, we are going to live by the three W's when we're here. First, we're going to watch our distance. We are still in a pandemic, so we still need to be careful. So we're going to watch our distance. We're going to wear our mask. That means I'm going to be wearing my mask. All of our youth leaders are going to be wearing their mask, and children will be asked to wear their mask as well. And we're going to wash our hands. Three W's. They're easy to remember. Watch your distance. Wear your mask and then wash your hands. So those signs will be posted up around uh, the, uh, the church as we come back to youth ministry. So please be aware of that. And now, as we say in grad school, let's have a word from our sponsor. And it's going to come from Acts chapter 2, verse 17. And it says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And the reason why I picked that as our inspirational verse today is because as we look at Jonah, we'll hear that Jonah was a prophet. Jonah was a prophet. Ooh, ooh. But he really never got it. Sad but true. Now, back in the Old Testament days, 
prophets were were people that 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 were thought of as 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 very inspired teachers and they would often get these uh messages straight from god god would speak directly to them and god would say go tell this to my people and jonah was one of those people jonah was one of god's prophets and as we see in acts 17 uh, i'm sorry acts chapter 2 verse 17 is that now because the holy spirit is now living in our hearts because now Jesus is living inside of our hearts and living within us and he walks alongside us daily. We now get to prophesy. We are now the new age prophets and we get to carry God's message, God's holy word to those that we meet on a daily basis. We get to talk to uh, our friends on the playground about Jesus. We get to talk to our family about Jesus. We get to talk to anybody we want to and everybody we can about how much Jesus loves them and how much he wants to be best friends with them and bring them into God's family. And we get to do that because we have the inspired word of God at our fingertips and it, and it's on our phones. We have the Bible everywhere and we get to talk to God directly and he responds. And so I hope that you will take that title as a new age modern day prophet and go share the word of God with anyone and everyone you can. So don't forget, Sunday school is Sundays after our 930 worship service. We start Sunday schools at 1045, uh, August 15th. We will go fishing for our special Sunday school, and then we will start life groups on September 15th here, Wednesdays at 6. So don't be late. Don't miss out. I'm excited for what God's going to do in our ministry and what he's going to do for us as we open up and look in the word of God. All right. So that was a lot. I'm not going to hold you up anymore. So you go ahead. You go ahead and enjoy your summer day and you go experience God's grace and mercy. I'm praying that God continues to hold you, guide you, protect you, and show you that he loves you. And we love you here at Grace United Methodist Church. All right. God bless you.